Hi, I'm Burnham. I am the uh, photographer and videographer here at Swoop Antarctica. I've been a professional photographer for the last seven years and I've photographed in over 40 countries, including Patagonia, Antarctica, uh, Svalbard, Canadian Arctic, Greenland, um, and yet yeah, a lot of places around Europe and America. Out of all the places I've photographed uh, across the world, my trip last year to the Falklands, South Georgia, and Antarctica with Swoop was by far the best. The reason why this trip was so good was, I think, just the contrast in landscapes between the Falklands, South Georgia, and Antarctica. Um, obviously, Antarctica, you've got all the ice, the snow. South Georgia is like towering mountains, very dramatic, and the Falklands is like completely different. It's a bit like a sort of wild windswept location, no trees. Um, so yeah, the contrast is really cool and just the proximity constantly to wildlife. It's always around you. Different penguins, different whales, different seals. Um, yeah, it, you just couldn't beat it. I love the Falklands. Uh, I'm, I didn't think I would, but I think the British heritage there was quite like really interesting and I think that sort of stood out against obviously its location um, and what it looked like. Uh, lots of penguin species everywhere and I think the, um, the sort of the windswept look actually reminded me a lot of the Scottish Isles but just yeah a lot of penguins so that was uh, that was quite a highlight for me. My best day at the Falklands is probably the first day we arrived and it was just like a bright blue sunny day which normally photographers including myself don't really enjoy um, but I think with the white white sand beaches uh, the curling waves it just felt a bit like I don't know, a bit like Hawaii or something, uh, except there were penguins everywhere. And I think that that sort of made for some really funny photos. My favorite photo I took in the Falklands was one of three penguins on the beach together. They all looked like they were on holiday together um, in like the Caribbean. But seeing them as king penguins, you know, I thought that was quite funny and they were just sort of staring out at the perfect waves. And yeah, that one I really, I really loved. After the Falklands, it was a two-day journey to uh, South Georgia, which is known as the Serengeti of the South. It was pretty easy to see why. Um, millions of penguins everywhere. Um, way more than you're expecting. You've been told about it, but like when you get there and you just stood there amongst them, you're like, this is, this is crazy. I've been close to wildlife before, I mean, particularly like, let's say, the Galapagos Islands, but the backdrop of South Georgia is so dramatic. You know, we're talking like towering ice peak mountains just behind every scene. And that, with, you know, the proximity to hundreds of thousands of penguins, just creates like incredible photo after incredible photo. Um, yeah, and the light there, you know, I think this is the same in the Falklands, Antarctica, and South Georgia, but the light in that southern area of the world. It's constantly changing, um, and no matter what time of day you go ashore, it's, you're guaranteed something amazing. The best day for me on the South Georgia trip was probably the first day, partly because I think when you first arrive in South Georgia, just your mind's blown, so I was like, what a, what a crazy place. Um, and then, you know, as a, like every human, you get used to things. But the first day we also got up at dawn, um, St Andrews Bay, which was amazing because it was, well, luckily it was, a, it was a lovely day. So, you know, we had a nice orange glow to the, to the shots and long shadows. Um, and just seeing all the penguins, you know, just along the beach at dawn was just really, really magical. The picture I'm most proud of from uh, the South Georgia section of the trip was one I'd envisioned prior to getting there. Um, I had in my mind this idea of like a colony of penguins along the beach but with like nice smoothed out water and I kind of knew that the penguins might be out of focus if they're moving a lot um, but I just sort of thought well let's go for it and hope they don't move too much. Um, and yeah, it worked well, like the beach, you know, it was a nice leading line. The clouds luckily were going in the same direction, which worked really nicely. Um, the penguins were blurred, a lot of them, but there were some that didn't move. So they, they you know, that was a nice contrast there. And yeah, it worked really well. Um, I, I did lose the camera and the tripod in the, in the water doing that shot, 
um, which was an insurance job, but luckily I got the picture still. South Georgia is so unique for photography because of the, well, the sheer amount of wildlife, which you can get in other places in the world, not many, you can, but the sheer amount of wildlife, but with the backdrop behind it is like these towering mountains and you just, you can't really believe it until you get there. And even on like just, just the beaches, you're getting like fur seals everywhere, elephant seals everywhere, king penguins just in and out of the water that you're just sort of walking through a nature documentary and it's just something that you sort of have to see to believe, really. For photographers visiting South Georgia for the first time, I would say, like, take your time. There's, the wildlife is all, right, all around you. Um, get low. You know, the, the, they're, they're, they're low to the ground, so you should be low to the ground to get into their world, get close to them. Um, and you don't really need to bring these long, long lenses. Um, telephoto lenses, they're right next to you. You know, you just, you just don't need to bring it. So um, if you want some profile portrait shots, sure, like you can use one. But really, like to get the whole drama of South Georgia, I would bring like a wide angle lens. You know, they're going to be right there. So yeah, do that and just be creative. Um, don't lose your camera in the water, but just, you know, be as creative as you can and, and you never know what you'll get. So after South Georgia, uh, we moved on two days south to Antarctica, which was just amazing because you've got that whole thing, you're looking forward to Antarctica the whole time, you know, the seventh continent, um, and you know you've got that to come. So that was, that was great and we got there and the landscape is, it's, it's very alien, you know, you've got, it's hard to explain until you're there, it's, it's, people like to think it's just sort of ice and all white with a few penguins, but it's a very ethereal, very strange place, um, undeniably beautiful, but it is strange and I think you really need to be there and I just love that contrast between, well not only South Georgia and Antarctica, but the Falklands, South Georgia and then getting to Antarctica. My favorite day uh, in Antarctica was, I think, on the last day where we did a Zodiac cruise um, to see some wildlife. It was like the light was coming through the clouds and you were sort of getting this blue sort of glow. Um, it was really, really cool. And we were just sort of Zodiacing through brash ice, making like a really lovely sound as you cruise through it. And you could just hear all the ice sort of crinkling and crackling together and then we saw like you know loads of penguins and one keen photographer also got a picture of three species in one which is a uh, super egg on the deli a chin strap uh, and a gentoo in one photograph which was i thought was really cool my favorite photograph from the Antarctic Peninsula was a landscape shot actually no wildlife um, it was just the the light i really I couldn't get over the light there and in this photograph it was on the horizon was like this sort of greeny sort of bluey green light and then there was like a layer of blue clouds and then the whole rest of the sky was just almost black and white and I was just looking and thinking this is this is weird and you know I, I took the photograph had like a lovely sort of mountain there as well and, and little, little icebergs here and there and it just yeah it worked really nicely and it was sort of it was so weird that I got home and I edited it and I thought you know, have I, have I edited this badly or is it, is, have I messed with the white balance or something? But I look back at videos and it was the same light and it was just, yeah, it was really, really cool. I've been on a lot of photography trips around the world and for me, expedition cruises really stand out as a way to get off the beaten track. I mean, you're taking these small ships into bays, you know, and places where people haven't gone before and, and you know sometimes you're going to a place that people haven't been in a, quite a few years um, and you know I think that's really cool and you just sail there's no itinerary you kind of just sail with the weather you know what you're going to be in like let's say South Georgia for four days you don't know where 
you know, you don't know what bay you're going to be in, what inlet, and I think it's just an incredibly good way to get close to wildlife and to see landscapes that you're not going to see otherwise. If you're a keen photographer, um, you're well travelled, you've been maybe to Serengeti or the Galapagos and you, you know you like that sort of thing, then you can't go wrong with Fourth and South Georgia and Antarctica. It, it is on a scale that's almost unmatched anywhere else on earth and I think the composition options, the light, the, the dramatic landscapes, it's just, it's just unbeatable. <laughs>